That's the Sophie Puss version of Hello Everyone and welcome to another video. You may remember that last year I bought you the story of Victor Benson. I didn't, I had to go back and look it up. Victor Benson told Annie he was from US Taxis. Annie at the time was living in Durham, which is a bit unfortunate because he's just recontacted Annie and Annie has told him that she lives in Shaftesbury. Doubly unfortunate because he claims he's now in Newcastle, which is the next city along from Durham. But I'm sure we'll sort something out as we go through the video. Our man worked for a construction company, and at the end of the last video, he'd just asked Annie to pay for his leave. Don't they all? He'd asked her to pay by Bitcoin. Unfortunately for him, Annie had no idea how to use Bitcoin, so he's been waiting rather a long time. I guess somehow he's managed to get his leave, or maybe he's just quit the company. I'll leave the link to the original video in the description box below. When you listen to it, you'll better hear at the beginning that I'd just broken a tooth and you can hear that I was lisping. He disappeared from Annie's life in April 2021. As you can see from this screenshot, he made a couple of attempts to contact her in May, which she ignored, and then he tried again in January this year, which she ignored, and he tried again in February and she ignored him. Then he reappeared today, which is the 15th of March. Hello, gorgeous, he said. What do you want? asked Annie, who decided that she really was living in Shaftesbury. Nice to hear from you, he said. Hope all is fine. Long time. How is England? Hope all is fine. I will love to hear from you soon. I'm in England. OK, I'm working in Newcastle. OK, I'm here for you. OK, honey. And he sent a photograph. Then he tried calling her, but I was in the kitchen, so Annie missed him. I was wondering where the sound was coming from, she said. It was you trying to call me. Yes, honey, he said. I just got a contract here in Newcastle. I'm here for you. I will love to talk to you. I'm here now, she said. OK, honey, can I call you? Are you at work? No, I'm at home. Where are you in England, he asked. I'm in Shaftesbury, she said. Are you going to call me? And so he called her. In fact, he made several calls because he kept disappearing and having to call back. And I was experimenting with appearing in the videos myself. Perhaps you could tell me what you think in the description box below. Politely, obviously, please. Nah, go on, just say what you think. Are you there? Hello, baby. Oh, nice to hear from you after so long. What are you doing in Newcastle? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm here for a big contract. All right. Contract doing what? Yo, know, I just, my, my complaint just, my, my complaint just win a road contract here. So I've been here since last week. Yeah. So how you doing, baby? Contract doing what? Yo, you know, I told you I'm a construction engineering. Well, I don't remember. I I'm here for a road construction. It's nearly a year since you last no, wrote you to me. Oh, this Victor, this Victor. Yeah, I know who you are, but I didn't remember what you did. Hello. Yeah, I, I told you I'm working as a construction engineering. So my company just won a contract here in Newcastle. So I'm in Newcastle All right. for the contract since last week. Right, what are you, const yeah. what are you constructing? So, yeah, I construct the road and buildings as a construction engineering. Yeah, but what are you constructing in Newcastle? Yo, I construct in Newcastle right now. Yeah. So how are you doing? I was everything. What are you constructing in Newcastle? I'm constructing a road. Okay. Road, right. road cross -pop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So how was everything, baby? It's been a long time. Uh, it has. It's been nearly a year, I think. Oh, uh, fine. Thanks. Oh, well, nice to hear your beautiful boys you know i've been dreaming that anytime i come here to england 
you are the first person i'm getting a message and i'm going to call you know it's been a long time you are being a good woman to me talking to me where i'm in u.s when i'm in texas or you know i just like england you know i love everything about england you know since when i've got here yeah, everything is been all right and i love oh you keep breaking up i can't hear you very well So hope everything is good. Are you not going to work? Oh, oh, but, can you hear me? Can you hear me right yeah, now? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yo, know, I said, are you not going to work today? I've been to work. I was at work this morning. I finished at lunchtime. Oh, that is good, baby. You know, I'm so very happy to hear your beautiful voice. So how was everything? How was your family? How are you doing? Oh, every And how was... <laughs> Everything is going. Oh, everything's fine, thanks, yeah. Oh, that is good, baby. Nice to hear your voice. Nice to hear you. Nice to see you. Because no have a dreaming about you that any time. You've been dreaming about me, have you? So how long do you expect to be in Newcastle? I have in the country. Tratin. You're breaking up. No. I can't I, I can't hear you very well. Oh hello again. Hey babe. Hey Han. How you doing? So fine, thanks. You kinda cut off last time. I couldn't hear you properly. Yeah, yeah. So Yo, is 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 the network? No, the network is so very bad. So I can hear you clearly right now. Oh dear. So, babe, I say I said it's been a while. So how was everything? How is everything is going, baby? Oh, everything's fine, thanks. Not, not a lot's changed. Oh, that is good. That is good. So, so how long? How long are you gonna? How long are you gonna be in Newcastle? You've disappeared. Yeah, yeah, because it's a lot of. Hello, baby. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How long Hello? are you going to be in Newcastle? Yo, I, said, I said I'm going to spend nothing less than one year in Newcastle. It's a lot of pro projects. Oh, right. I'm going to yeah. spend one year. Yo. Okay, well, in that case, you can come down to Shaftesbury and see me, can't you? You've disappeared again. Hello again. How you doing? Are you Hello? there? Yeah, I can hear you. I say I'm so, yeah, I'm, there, babe. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. I'm so very happy to meet you back again. It's my player, baby. So when do you think you'll be able to come down to Shaftesbury to meet me? Okay, oh, baby, I'm going to, you know, I'm just easy. No, you've just, you know. I'm you keep stay here, say to something, some walk, you know. Hello? You keep disappearing. Hello? Yo, yo, babe, I'm listening. I'm, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me? Just about, yeah. Yo, I said, I said, I'm still here, you know, so I'm just arranging some things for my boys and for the engineers so we can start the job next week so immediately we start the contract next week i'm gonna be there with you i promised you i just want to say to some things before i traveling come to you to come to see you okay baby okay what kind of road you are you building why are they getting in outside contractors and not just using the local council hello baby what do you say i said why are they getting in outside contractors from outside the country instead of just lo using the local council or the usual contractors round, yo, it, round here yo, it's, it's Balfour true, you know you know i've been i've been yeah. you've hello? disappeared again <laughs> hello hi hey yeah you know, baby, I just thank God for this contract. You know, my complaint has been waiting for this contract three years ago. So, my country. 
Hello. Hello. So, which company do you work Hello? for? Hello. Which company do you work for? Yo, I own my company, baby. I own my company. Yeah, but I which company? I own my company. In Dallas. Yeah, what's your company called? Victor Banksing. Sorry, I didn't hear that. You've disappeared again. You've disappeared again, said Annie. Why is the signal so poor in Newcastle? Yes, honey, he said. The signal here is bad. Okay. Why? asked Annie. I would expect it to be excellent in a large city. Honey, he said. Send me your picture. Okay. I want to see you. So she sent him her photo from Facebook. Now send me a photo of Newcastle, she said. I just want you to know I still love you, he said, and you are still the best. Where are you in Newcastle? she asked. So he sent a photograph of four people in a theatre. Where's that? asked Annie. That's my boys with me, he said. One of those boys is a girl, said Annie. Where is it? We're in a meeting. OK, honey, he said. Obviously a well-attended meeting, as you can see. All the seats were empty. Where? asked Annie. He tried calling her again, but weirdly nothing happened. Weird, said Annie. Nothing happened. Honey, he said. Can I trust you again? I doubt it, mate. I very much doubt it. What on earth does that mean? asked Annie. Where is that photo taken? I still love you. I want to marry you. He said, says the man who hasn't even contacted me for nearly a year. Said Annie, where is that photo taken? I assume you do know where you are. Yes, honey, he said. You don't come online. That's the reason why I don't contact you. Where was that photo taken? She asked again. Please don't make me ask again. It's getting so tedious. And fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, if you're eating or drinking, please swallow now. I think I've been responsible for far too many destroyed keyboards. Meet you expands centre in Newcastle. OK, why did you ask, honey? What does that mean? Asked Annie. You can check it online. OK, he said. So Annie checked out the Meet You Expands centre in Newcastle online. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Here it is. According to the Chronicle Live website, the newspaper for Newcastle, pleased to meet you, expands in Newcastle City Centre's High Bridge. Pleased to meet you, being the name of a bar. And you might find you have to stop this video and read that twice to understand what he did. A man had just told Annie to check it online. I just did, she said. Do you want to try again and maybe Google the name of a theatre or conference hall? Remember, he'd sent her that photo four people in front of lots of seats. OK, love, he said. In Newcastle, she added, or tell me what it means, since you're the one that claims to be there. Let me take the picture and send it, my love. OK, he said. Yeah, good idea, said Annie. Just trust me, OK? I'm here for, he said. And then our man started really tying himself up in knots. OK, he said. Queen Head Hotel in Newcastle. OK, honey, are you there, love? Trust me. And he said for a photograph of the Queen's Head Hotel. In a minute, I'll tell you where that is. I'm here, said Annie. Where's that photo? If I don't love you, I will not call or message you. OK, honey? Ah, oh, OK, said Annie. That all isn't inside that hotel. Pull the other leg and tell me where it really is. A man tried again. Queen's Head Hotel on Pilgrim Street. But it isn't. It was, in fact, located on Gateshead High Street. What? said Annie. They moved the hotel. Shields Road, Wall's End. That is the hotel. OK. They moved the hotel twice, said Annie. Now tell me where that photo was really taken. Honey, he said, have sent it to you. Tell take about something. OK. Answers on a postcard if you can tell me what that meant. Very soon, I will be going out with my friend, OK? And he sent her a Newcastle phone number. That is the hotel number, he said. You can call. I'm in room 134. Just trust me, OK? I can't lie to you, honey. I'm too old of that. OK. 
So Annie called that number. It did ring, but nobody answered. And according to Google, it is listed as a telephone number for the Queen's Head on Shields Road in Wall's End. This is the Queen's Head on Shields Road in Wall's End. It isn't even a hotel. And I think you can see that that isn't the same building that he sent a photo of. I don't trust you if you're going to continue to tell me that photo was taken in a hotel that's moved three times, said Annie. You know, I anywhere here, OK? You know I'm here for work. Let me call you. And so he tried calling her again. Hello again. Hello, I can't hey, hear you. Oh, they... what's, what's that noise in the Not background? Yo, no, I'm just here. You know, I told you, you know, I told you I don't even know anywhere here. I'm just... What, why is your hotel keep moving round town? Yeah. For a contract business, I don't know anywhere. You keep disappearing? Yeah, I'm not from, I'm not from UK. Yeah, that doesn't make, doesn't stop you. I mean, you that's no reason for your hotel to keep moving around Newcastle, is it? You've disappeared. Yeah. And are you going to tell me you where that... When you're gonna, I go to the site are you gonna tomorrow, tell I'm going to do a video call with you. So you can see me, you can see the site tomorrow. We are going to... So you can show me that where that first photograph was taken. You're going to see you? it in a house. You know, I don't know. You don't know where you were? Okay, that I don't we we just moved. We just moved the way we just moved. You know, let me say that we are we are we, we, no we are we here right now. We are just in a look at Troy's taking some A man disappeared again, which was a shame because I think he was about to go off on an epic rant. Honey, he said, I'm not talking about I'm real, I make my money, and I don't need you for anything. All I need from you is love, and I'm getting sure you love me. I would love you forever. I don't even know what that means, said Annie. All I need from you is love, he said. Just trust me, OK? I'm so old to tell lie, OK? I don't trust you, OK, said Annie. You can call me tomorrow and show me where you're staying. I just rang that number you gave me. They've never heard of you. I told you she'd rung it. In fact, nobody answered. And now I get to go through all those photos that he sent and tell you where they were. This was the first one he sent, which he said was a meeting in the Queen's Head Hotel. I sent this photo to Dr Watson and said, is there any chance of finding out where this is? Is it the Sherman Theatre, Cardiff? She asked. And as usual, she got it and won, because here is the Sherman Theatre in Cardiff. And that first photo that he sent, which he said was the Queen's Head Hotel in Newcastle, well, we both found that. It's the Queen's Head Hotel in Morpeth in Northumberland. And remember that movable hotel? The one that he randomly said, Queen's Head Hotel on Pilgrim Street? But it isn't. It was in fact located on Gateshead High Street. You might have thought that was rather a strange thing to say. Well, I'll show you why he said it. As I've said before, Google is a very useful tool, but only if you understand the results. This is an old drawing of the Queen's Head Hotel in Gateshead. This is a photo that somebody posted on Flickr, and underneath it, someone had left this comment. This isn't Newcastle. I had thought it was the Queen's Head Hotel on Pilgrim Street, but it isn't. It was, in fact, located on Gateshead High Street. Now that you've had a tour of all the Queen's Heads in the northeast of England, we'll get back to the story. Annie had just told our man that she'd called the number and that they'd never heard of him. I've just realised something, said Annie, feeling it was time to redeem the durham Shaftesbury situation. Was I still living in Durham when we talked last year? I moved to Shaftesbury in June. My mum still lives in Durham. I could come up and visit you next time I come up to see mum. Hello, love. Are you there? I would love to see you. I sent you my photo. She said, I thought you said you'd call me tomorrow and show me where you're staying. Yes, my love. 
Yes, my love. Will, he said. I'm going to work tomorrow. OK. Are you going to work tomorrow, honey? I'm working from 2pm to 6pm tomorrow, I think. I told you I've moved. I have a different job now. I work on the checkouts in the supermarket in Shaftesbury. They managed to miss each other the following day. and He reappeared the next evening and tried to call her. Are you there, honey? We need to talk, my love. Hi, said Annie. Is something wrong? I'm off to bed soon. Can you tell me what the problem is? No problem, honey, he said the next morning. I just need to know some things about you before I come over to you next month. Good morning. A classic scammer mistake there. He claims to be in Newcastle in England, and he should have remembered that Annie is also in England. He's not coming over to anywhere. He tried to call her a couple of times, but Annie was still in bed. Honey, have call you. Very soon I'll be going to work. Call me or message me. We need to talk. OK? I want to know something about you. Love you, honey. Hi, said Annie when she finally got up. What do you want to know? I will call you. OK? I'm at work. I can only call. An excuse for not video calling, obviously. Guess you didn't mean it, said Annie five minutes later when he hadn't called her. I have to leave for work soon. Let me know when you can really call me. Honey, how long have you been single? And did you have any kids? How old are you? I want to know more about you, OK? Oh, FGS, said Annie. I'm sure I told you all that ages ago. I have grown up twins and I was divorced three years ago. And I have no idea what she'd told him in the previous video. I don't remember. Oh, she added, and I'm 56. OK, honey, he said. I have a grown-up son too. Have been single nine years ago. Mum's not very well, added Annie. So I might come up to Durham for a day next week. Can we meet up? I'm going to ask at work this morning if I can change my shifts. If I can, I'll come up by train on Monday. I will love that, honey, he said. I we love to see you. Who's we? Are you with someone? asked Annie. I just want to life the rest of my life with you, he added. You don't have to if you don't want to, said Annie. Why are you talking in riddles? I love you just because of only one. Thanks, said our scammer, who'd clearly changed shifts with a scammer who barely spoke English. What does that mean? asked Annie. Please stop typing meaningless rubbish. If you can't be bothered to write a proper sentence, I have better things to do. I have to get ready to go to work. I'll let you know if I can have time off next week. Baby, when are you going to work today? I'm leaving in about 15 minutes, she said. I'm starting at 9am. Honey, if you see a man that love and carry about you, can you be in love again? Oh, FJS, stop typing rubbish, said Annie. Did you have too much to drink last night? Go away and come back when you're sober. And so he called her. Good morning. Hey, babe. What on earth's the matter with you this morning? You can't even How you doing, the honey? sentence. Oh, baby, I'm really, I'm really so sorry. You know, I'm so busy at work, so that is the reason why i don't have uh, much time to type with you i'm so sorry i'm at sight yeah, you were... i'm supervising my no co-workers work i'm so sorry you, were you know you were gonna so that is the reason why i just want to call you I'm show so... me the hotel you're staying in hello okay okay i'm not oh he i'm not inside the hotel room right now i'm i'm in the site right now maybe when i come when i go to the hotel room in the evening time, I'm going to call oh. you on video call so you can see me inside the room, okay? Well, I, I tried to call you yesterday, night. but you didn't pick up the phone. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You know, hi, Neil. I just want to tell you, I want you to know something. If I don't truly love you, if I don't truly care about you, how you know, be, you know, talking to you, message you, you know, disturb you every time. Baby, I really loved you. I see something creative in you i see something special in you i don't want you to consider about anything i just wanted to i mean i'm a very old man you know i just wanted to consider about only one thing and what i want you to consider about is this baby i really loved you i want you and i want to be with you so 
and I was so very happy if you can just make it bills. It's a creative love for me. I loved you, baby. I need you. You know, I don't need you for anything. I don't need your money. I don't need your anything. I just need your love and trust. That is all what I need from you, babe. Well, and I'm going to pay you back with love. That's very kind of you. you so know, if I come up to hello? Durham next week, um, I can come to Newcastle to meet you if you like. No, baby, I was so very happy. I can talk to my boss. So I'm going to take a break for a day. So just let me know the actual time you're coming. So I can just talk to my boss so I can take a break for a day. So we can go on thinking maybe I can go, I can buy can a buy building, it. a house. That's UK. So I, I'm trying to maybe if you can make everything. Yo, I'm thinking maybe I can just relocate to UK. I can buy a building, a house here and start a new life here. Because, you know... You keep disappearing. I really need someone beside me this time around. I need a, I need a woman of life. I need to be happy again. I lost my wife nine years ago. Yeah, you and keep since disappearing. Then, Oh, babe. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Hello. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can Hello? hear you. I can yeah, hear yo, you. Yeah, baby. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Me? Yeah. Yeah, was baby. I said I lost my wife nine years ago, and since then I've been a single father. I've remained single. I have a. I have. I have a very grow up son. He's a medical doctor. So. I don't need anything. All I need is love and happiness. I've made a lot of money. I've been, I've been working, making money. All that I need is just for me to be love. So, baby, I love you because of all the wants to you. That's so very intelligent. You are so very smart and you are so very hardworking. So, I loved you just because of just raising. And I'll be very happy if you can just give me time, a chance to show how care I loved you, how much I love you. If you can just give me the time. I'm real and I'm coming to your life to make you happy, not to not not to be tears from you. I want to show you the joy. I want to be with you. I want to show you the joy. So I will love to us to meet when we meet, when we discuss. I'm just thinking maybe I can buy a house. In UK, we can start living our very better future life. So that is it, babe. Just trust me. I can't, I can't, I cannot be lying to you. I want you to trust me, to have a trust in me. And everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be all right. You? Okay. Wow. No, you're just keeping on asking me, you no know, questions, send the pictures. Baby, let me tell you this. I can't not be. I'm so old to be lying to you. I'm so old to be lying to you. I just wish to know everything about you. I want to know you. I want to know everything about you. I want to take good care of you. I just want to take good care of you. I want to be with you. So, baby, I believe something. Everything is going to be fine. Right. You made to be happy. You made to be to be to be in in joy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, baby. Don't worry. Everything will be fine very soon. Okay. Yeah. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. And don't hesitate. Whatever you need, anything, just tell me. I'm gonna send it to you. Okay. Anything, whatever, anytime you need anything, just let me know. Okay. You are my woman, and I need to take good care of you. I need to take you out. I need to. I need. To, I need to. I need to make you enjoy. I need to make you happy. Okay. So, baby, everything is gonna be fine soon. Okay. Okay, babe. Yeah. So, I want to ask you, baby. Did you? Did you? Did you what have? Are you talking a, about? Did you have a Bitcoin account? No, I said, did you? Did you have a Bitcoin? Bitcoin There's account? No Bitcoin, crypto, about. or those cryptocurrency accounts? Okay, okay. 
I'm just asking about about the Bitcoin accounts. I said I want to ask you, did you have a Bitcoin account? Because it's very easy for oh, sorry, I've, me I've to got... send money to Bitcoin accounts. So maybe anytime I want to send you, I've no I'm idea just what you're talking about. Saying to you. No, I've did told you, have you a I've no idea what you're talking about. If you want to send me money, I'll give you my bank account details. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. No problem. No problem. That is very nice. That is very nice. No problem. Well, maybe you could Anytime buy my ticket up to them. Newcastle. Well, up to Durham. No, oh, you've disappeared. Our man got cut off. And in episode three, you'll find out whether he ever does manage to buy her ticket up to Durham. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please click the thumbs up button. And I'll see you again in Victor Benson, episode three.